You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's iPad application review on Adorama TV. Well, we're going to be talking about a new application called iRelease. And iRelease is an application for photographers that need to do model releases or property releases or really any kind of release in the field. You can uh, open up your iPad or iPhone. In fact, this application was actually built for the iPhone, but it works on the iPad pretty well. Um, and so you can use either one, but you open this up in the field. You'll show it to your model or uh, maybe a property owner. They can read through the contract in the model release, agree to it, actually sign it, and then save it to your iPhone or iPad. Then it syncs to the iRelease website that you can log into and then you can open up those releases. You have a full catalog of all the releases you've ever done. Um, you can include a photo. All the signatures are there. You can create PDF documents. Once you're done uh, creating those, you can email them to people right on the spot from your iPhone or iPad. It's a really, really nice way to do model releases or property releases or again, any kind of release in the field as you're working. So we're going to take a really quick look at how this works and show you the features of iRelease. When you open iRelease, you're presented with a new um, forms screen. Now this is made for the iPhone, so it's a smaller screen than a full iPad screen, but I can just hit the 2x button and it zooms right in on the iPad. Now I have some standard forms, a model release form, a model guardian release for those that are minors, uh, a location release, and then you can create almost any kind of release that you want to. So I've created one called I Love Adorama TV that I'll be showing you in a second. So let's walk through the steps in creating a new model release. So let's say I'm on location and I want to capture somebody's um, model release. So when I say model release, here's the form that's already been preloaded. And so it's a normal standard model release. They can scroll through that. Once they've read it, they can go to the next screen. Then it has some legal text and says, you know, here I do hereby give the photographer um, rights, etc. And so you can say, I agree to those conditions. And then go to the next screen. And then you'll have your model uh, fill out their name. So I'm going to just put in here, I'm going to type in, um, we'll say Jill um, person. I know it's very original. And then I can type in an email address. So I'll say Jill at somewhere.com. Oops, somewhere. Now that's a very important thing. I just messed up. So there's a, a no editing after you uh, save this. So you have to make sure that you get those correct. So you can put in the date of their birth. We'll say January 2nd, uh, 2010. That looks good. Um, so I'll go back to that. Then we'll just go ahead and put some, you know, random text in here just to get through this. So once you're done with that and you've done all of these different um, forms, you can go to the next. Then it's going to ask for a signature. Now normally we would just uh, uh, rotate this. So let's say that Jill uh, signs this. This is her new autograph. We'll say next. Then if you're on an iPhone, you can actually take a picture with your iPhone of the person. So you have that in there. On the iPad, you have to go into your photo album and choose something. So I'm going to go in here to my portraits album. I'm going to get this shot here of Don Berger. And then we'll just zoom that into the screen. And we'll have that. So it needs to fill this little frame here. I'll choose that picture and um, then say, OK, that's good. And now if I'm on the iPhone, I can retake the photo if I don't like it. And then I'll say save. And then now I have this model release. Now notice I've put Snap Factory there, so that is my studio's name. So you can do custom branding. So you can put your studio name, a logo, whatever you want. And you have now this model release. Take a close look at it to make sure everything is right. If it's not, then you need to go back and correct it. Um, so everything looks good. Now once everything is, is good there, I can hit save. And once I do that, it's almost like an accounting software. It locks everything in and you can't go back in time and correct. Now the reason for that is you don't want people to be able to go in and change a model release after somebody has signed it. So you need to really make sure that everything is in correctly before you hit save. So I think everything looks good here. I'm going to hit save. Now once I hit save, I can either save it and it saves it not only to my uh, iPad or iPhone, but it also saves it on a remote server. I can save it and email it. So if the person wants a copy or I can save and then create a new one if I have multiple models. So I'm just going to hit save here and it will generate a PDF, which is really nice. And then it saves it into all of the releases that you have and it's by alphabetical order. So you can go through here and you can see, and these are some of the, uh, the tests that we've done. So let's go back here. Here's the one that we just created. I can say view. There it is. I can look at the PDF that's created. So this is an actual PDF form that I can zoom in, um, which is really nice. I can go back. Now let's look back here at some of these other things. So I can hit sync. 
Um, and this will allow me to bring in um, completed forms if they're on the server, so you can sync this to their remote website on iRelease, or form templates for any customized form. So I can uh, update and sync my application on my computer as well as on my iPhone or iPad. Um, and on the more uh, button, what we have is we can change default settings with some information, some disclaimers, and then the web portal. Now I can go visit the web portal here, or I could just use the browser that's built into the iPad. And that's what I want to do. So um, now that we have this in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Safari browser. Now you could do this on uh, your laptop, your home computer, whatever. And I've already logged into my account on iRelease. And once I'm there, I can go in and I can create a new form. And so these new forms, what you can do is you can create your own customized model release form. So you can uh, have the legal terms exactly like you want. I'm going to demonstrate one of these in a second. And you can also go in and view the releases that have been made. So here's some releases and look at that. There's the release that I just created um, on my uh, iPad. Now I could just as easily view this on a home computer and print it. I can open up a PDF of this and just like we uh, saw before, here's a full PDF of that model release. So if you're on a home computer, you could go ahead and print this out, give a copy to your model or agency or whoever needs that. So it's a really, really robust application that syncs all kinds of things. Then there's some settings here. You can go in here and you can uh, add and remove different uh, customized forms. You can change your password. This is where you do your customized logos and things like that. So this is really, really nice for printing and keeping track of things. Now I'm going to go back to the application once you've seen that, and I'm going to show you one other thing. So I created earlier a, uh, an I Love Adorama TV customized form. So I'm going to open that. And this has a typo in it, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. This says, I hereby certify that I love Adorama TV and will sing its praises from the highest mountaintops. So you can actually do any kind of form that you want, even a crazy one like this. Now, I had um, an apostrophe in here, and I had an error. But once you create the model release form, you can't go back and edit that. And so that's something I hope in future versions you can go back and fix typos if you have them, because I think that's important. But right now, it's locked in just like everything else, so you can't change model releases um, and change the legal terms. So once we have that, I'll go next. And the legal text I can even customize. So it says, I hereby certify that I love Adorama TV, blah, blah, blah. And I have read this silly statement and agree to it. So you can make all kinds of different things. You can add as many of these different things that you need people to check off. So I agree that I'm over the age of 18 or I'm an adult that had, can grant consent to my child. Things like that you can add in there. And you can make these all different types of things. So I'll hit next. And then I can put in first, last name. So you can customize the kind of information that you're capturing. So this, you'll notice, is a lot less information than we had before because I didn't want all that information. The other thing is something like an email address. If you type that in there, it automatically recognizes that you want an email address. And so it brings up the email address screen, which has the at symbol in it. And so it's very, very customizable. And then it behaves just like the other model releases so that you can go in and look at some um, uh, you know, uh, do archival stuff and look at the past model releases or I Love Adorama TV releases and things like that. It's a very, very robust application. Well, that's iRelease. You know, it's a phenomenal application. There are a few things that we mentioned that I'd like to see happen. For example, we'd like the full resolution iPad application to come out. We'd like the ability to do some editing uh, on the website or in the, uh, the iPad application for deleting model releases or updating the uh, release forms that you create. But all in all, this first release is a very solid release. I recommend it. And the nice thing is it's only going to get better from here. So check out iRelease. I highly recommend it. Well, that's all we have time for this week. But remember, if you have questions about an iPad application for photography or photography-related questions, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. And remember, we're out there on Twitter, so you can tweet about what we're doing or ask us questions on Twitter. Or you can subscribe to our channel so that you get every single video we make every single week. Well, thank you for joining us this week, and I'll see you next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.